So I've been trying to work out the most budget way of producing a single pass DCF film. I've been playing around with cheap printers. I've tried an R200, R300, and then I started playing around with the R800s and the 1800s, and they work, the 800 and 1800 series, but the, the DX5 heads are really weak and they're so expensive when they go wrong. So it's just not worth bothering with. So I started looking for all the printers available in Acro Rip and the 290 is the first printer you get to that supports the uh, colour and white option. So it'll do your, your colour and then the white on top as it follows. So it's got a printer just big enough to do it. Um, the trouble is the 290 is really rare. There aren't many of them about and they're quite expensive. So I started researching into which heads match the 290 head and you get the 285s the 275s and then you get into some of the RX printers so there are the R360s and the R380 I think it is of the same as well but they get quite expensive but the RX printers the ones with scanners on top are peanuts so here's the test I did so I've told it to print once in color once in white and once with color and white now you have to bear in mind that the printer I'm going to show you doesn't have any white loaded in it so here's my experimental printers so this is my R200 that produces some really good white, plain white or coloured prints. You can't do colour and white because the head's not big enough. So this is a 4880 which is in bits at the moment because again another DX5 head that's pooped its pants. And there's a, an R800 that was working for a while and then again DX5 head delaminated, rubbish. But what I found is these smaller heads will take an absolute beating. Now the one that's in this 200 was completely clogged when I got it and I've loaded it up with this um, six channel SIS system and it is perp the prints are beautiful to come out of that. I'm not going to show you anything. I mean these are ones I've done before so there's some black and there's some other colours in there and some white prints etc. It's been really good and it's cost nothing. I mean I've, I've got that printer for free. Now this one, this is an RX560 so this is a scanner one, so you know, no bloody good to DTF stuff. Um, but it's the same head that's in the 360, the 285, the 290, the 380, etc. It's all the same, except it's got a scanner on top. I paid £5 for this. The head's slightly clogged, but I'm fairly confident. Put a couple of um, shots of flush for it and it will be perfect. And this is my experiment. So here's the... The colour print, as you can see, the yellow channel's clogged. I had a, did a um, nozzle check there, so it's the yellow channel that's got an issue. Um, I'll get that sorted, I think that'll unclog lovely. And the rest of it's a bit iffy, but see, there's a colour print. And then I said do a white, which prints on the uh, light cyan and light magenta, I think. And you get this, so obviously that would be your white back. And then I told it to do the colour and white. And there we go. So this potentially when my SIS system arrives from China, it's gonna be a super budget, single pass DTF printer that should hopefully be quite reliable if you're doing the odd print here and there and not going crazy. Um, the other thing that I've been working on is looking at ways of uh, parking the printer. So the trouble with DTF printing is if you don't do it regularly, your head's clog, hence this sort of crap. So what, I've been doing with an experiment on this printer is when I park it up, leave it for a few days, I load flushing cartridges in and because it's not got any dampers, it just draws it straight in, does a head clean, perfect. And I've left this for two weeks, plug this one back in, do one head clean, perfect print every time. So you've no issues of leaving it sitting overnight. Every now and then I can give this these tanks a shake and give them a good shake before using them. But so far, so good. It's just been fantastic. Um, the only issue is you can't do single pass prints. But if you just want to do the odd bit of DTF here and there, it's brilliant. I mean, these big printers like this are great if you're using it continuously or if you want to roll, load it on a roll. But if you're not doing it every day, it's going to clog all the time and drive you absolutely potty. And again, the 800s got the same great head that's in this printer, but that's just so weak. So it's a, it's a big head, prints faster, great resolution, but once they're clogged, they're knackered. And then again, we've got the cheap cheap junk, does the job. If you're looking for a quick, quick sort of gateway printer into doing DTF, this is where you want to be at.